Will quantum computers make time travel possible? In this video, we delve further into three groundbreaking time travel and quantum computing experiments. On a global scale, research is beginning to demonstrate how traveling through time could actually be feasible with a little bit of atomic and subatomic manipulation. What do you envision the future of technology accomplishing? Humanity faces a plethora of obstacles and opportunities, but with all the sci-fi superpowers we might possibly acquire. Time travel has a great deal of potential to alter the course of history. Are we therefore getting close to making that discovery? The argument about time travel has existed for, well, ever. Humanity has been pondering the question of whether it will ever be feasible to travel not only across our spatial plane but also through a temporal one, more than just one second at a time, for decades, if not millennia. Instead, we're pursuing real, four-dimensional living, in which the past is never completely over. Because looking forward is always worthwhile. Over the years, the flux capacitors of Hollywood blockbusters have undoubtedly captured people's imaginations, with the pursuit of time travel almost inevitably spilling over into the race for faster-than-light flight. But now, with arguably a new age of technological exploration only just beginning, have we finally found the key to open this particular door? Quantum physics theories are scarcely breaking news in and of themselves. The majority of the 20th century was spent by scientists working to understand the subatomic world, describing atoms, dissecting atoms, and discovering all the even smaller components that make even the atoms themselves appear to be enormous and complex structures. The quanta, the smallest packets of reality, are now comparatively well known. Furthermore, even if the standard model is still an unfinished and developing idea, we are currently applying it practically in the here and now macro world of quantum computing. To quickly review everything we've already covered in earlier videos, because it might actually be essential to the debate over time travel in particular. The quantum bits or quits in quantum computers can be either a one or a zero, as opposed to the standard, binary bits of information carried by conventional computers, which are interpreted as ones and zeros. The processing power they provide is greatly increased by this independence. It is at this point that time travel becomes a real possibility, according to some who think quantum computing will one day be strong enough to bend and break the laws of time. The fact that the principles of physics in certain ways break down at the quantum level is already well known. Quantum entanglement makes it possible to travel at the speed of light, quantum data can transfer between wave and particle states with ease, and quantum superposition makes it possible for subatomic information to appear to exist in two places simultaneously. All of that is already true, so we're going back in time for our next trip. And it appears that numerous experiments have already demonstrated that it is doable. The specifics of a multi-authored study from an international team with bases in Russia, the US, and Switzerland emerged in March 2019, which is likely when the first rumblings of quantum time travel first surfaced. The Moscow Institute of Physics and Technology or MIPT reported that physicists have successfully reversed time using a quantum computer. In order to set the stage, the MIPT describes how a lone electron in the vacuum of interstellar space that is, how the smallest amount of reality in the least chaotic circumstances in the universe could, theoretically, be smeared between the present and the past, for a very brief period of time. It has been claimed that a chance variation in the cosmic microwave background radiation, CMB, could accomplish this, but the likelihood of this happening is incredibly low. According to the MIPT, even if you watch 10 billion or more electrons each second for the rest of the universe's existence, you would only observe an electron go back in time once, and even then, it would only do so for a very little period of time. Although they can be patient, scientists aren't always that patient. In an effort to reduce those extraordinary odds to zero and someday be able to reverse time on demand, the team set out to apply what they understood to a quantum computing exercise and they were somewhat successful. They were able to start those quits into action before essentially halting them and sending them back to their starting point utilizing a rather straightforward two-qubit configuration. 
All the information was effectively unaltered when going back in time, and order appeared to have been restored amid the escalating pandemonium. 85% of the time the team succeeded with the two-quit computer, but, when they added a third quit, their success rate fell to 50% of time. And, were they to have added more, the rate would likely have continued to fall with every added complexity. But, nevertheless, on some level, this could be described as real, true, observable and possible backwards time travel. Just over a year later, in July 2020, news broke of a joint research project out of Los Alamos National Laboratory. Here, in a study involving another quantum simulator in a similar, although not identical setup to the MIPT experiment, researchers were able to show that the fabled butterfly effect didn't take hold at the quantum level. The butterfly effect is the theory that even small changes in the past can massively alter the present, and the same for the present into the future, but, when the Los Alamos team ran qubits through their quantum processor, again, as though back into the past, but then altered them ever so slightly, it was found that very little effect was still noticeable when those qubits were brought back to the present. They hadn't carried the altered information through, in any meaningful way. Could this, then be a sign that quantum time travel is not only possible but potentially safe as well. Finally, at the end of 2022, it was reported that two separate studies had been published just days apart and that both had successfully accomplished a quantum time flip using photons, the subatomic particles of light. This time, a specifically shaped crystal rather than a quantum computer was at the center of the experiment, though it has been suggested that there may one day be significant ramifications for quantum computing. In other words, the studies used quantum superposition to transport split photons through the crystal, and when they measured the recombined particles, they discovered that while one split had continued along the predicted arrow of time, the other had turned against it. This is fundamentally in direct opposition to the second law of thermodynamics and entropy which is perhaps the most difficult obstacle standing in the way of time travel in general. Entropy often states that everything is always shifting from order to chaos. We have the idea of time going forward in the first place because it never works the other way around. However, in this case, where photons are fired through a crystal, it would seem that although the splitting of the photons is significant, it is possible for physical matter and energy to move somewhat in the opposite way or in an anti-direction. In the end, this isn't time travel yet, at least not in any meaningful way. But the currently limitless states of a quibit could theoretically grow even more if those or similar crystals are used in quantum computers. The potential processing power increases once more. We can't really say that time travel has been uncovered by quantum computers at this time, given the results of all three of these investigations. But may these initiatives nonetheless serve as the germ of even larger concepts and discoveries. We're smearing quits into their own past today. Observing how changes are registered and are not, as well as launching split particles into an apparently unreachable space. There is still more to do, and a significant scaling up operation is required. But even so, this is the reason why time travel may one day be made achievable by quantum computers. Conclusion While quantum computers have the potential to significantly contribute to scientific knowledge and technological advancements, it remains highly uncertain whether they will make time travel feasible. The intricate interplay between quantum mechanics and general relativity poses tremendous challenges. Quantum technologies, including entanglement and quantum algorithms, may offer powerful tools for exploration but further theoretical and experimental developments are required to unlock the mysteries of time travel. The implications, both ethically and regarding the fundamental nature of reality, merit rigorous examination before any concrete conclusions can be reached.